Welcome back guys to the next episode of Let's Play Xenosaga. In this episode we are going to in fact head up to the next level and cross over as there is something we kind of want to destroy if this thing wasn't in the way. Now luckily with this guy he's just sitting in the corner with an extremely large fist. Don't know what he's doing, neither do I care. I want to destroy this. We can jump down the hole. Now, I'm going to say no first of all because I think there's something in that barrel which we want. Anyway. If this don't do any enemies in this battle, we will skip it or just speed it up. Oh hell no! That's the worst possible thing I could have seen all day. So yeah, start off by boosting and well, start off by just hitting the bastards really, hitting them with a stick of like laser several times from the sky, and be grateful when that happens, and then be grateful when this happens or doesn't happen. Come on. Time to flip and jump and flip. Time to flip and jump and flip. Time to flip and jump and flip. Time to flip. I don't even know what I'm saying. Being so good from the hole in my little Okay, well, that's, that's gone. Uh, oh, sorry, I don't know what I was doing there. Woohoo! Now we're gonna angel wing him. Boom! Boom! Tempting. The damage was okay. Why are there still one of them alive? Oh, right, well, now they're all dead. Ah, he can cast ice attacks, apparently. Rubbish ice attacks, but ice attacks nonetheless. Really? Really? You're gonna do that to me? On Shion, who, who never uses it. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that, man. We're coming for you, don't worry. You. You're not going to get off lightly if you're doing a speed boost. Anyway, with its attack, with its health being somewhat low, we should be able to blitz in the next go. I wish I could skip these with a the start button. You see, your regular attacks become ineffective of just the means of jumping to the more powerful attacks in the game. I don't know anyone who still uses the basic attacks. How much else has it got this one? Alright. Uh, yeah, double X buster it. I feel it deserves that punishment. And it's on a double but double. It's on a point score. I don't know. I love this. The battle system is pretty intuitive. I mean, what do you think? I quite like it because usually in a battle, it's, you know, the way of inputting a quick command is difficult. Whereas the whole triangle, square, circle thing. Oh, nicely done. Really? I hate the way they kind of vibrate and jerk upwards. Anyway, really comes off well. Generally, I think it's a battle system with tons of potential. I wish they'd used it more. They do in Sun Saga 2 in a slightly different way, but still, I still love it. Alright, this is just skill upgrade S. Not bad, one may say. The other one may say, you're joshing me. Anyway, jump down here, and luckily, as always, items always stay there. Okay, so, get a med kit for shattering a door, which means now we can go back. And there's a chest in here. What's going to be inside the chest? A decoder 17, because the only way out is down. Yep, I know, down and out. Woohoo, look at me, I'm so awesome, because I I look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Give it a lick, it tastes just like raisins, maybe, possibly. I don't know why it would taste like raisins. Anyway, let's just head out here to see what's outside, because I do realise I wouldn't show it based on completion. But there is really nothing here, it's a little balcony to see where the switch is to activate the final pla to activate the final place. And now there are going to be enemies here. Oh, joy be unconfined. We've got everything we have in here, I seem to remember. Just give me a second to look to check at the book. We've got the Dakota 17, have the pack DX, skill upgrade, field ring. We are good to go, actually. Yeah, we're good to go. We've now got the final room for which I shall use. Oh! Yes! How do you like that? Oh, skill lock. <laughs> Time to die. This is just how much I'll enjoy this battle now. Just because I skill lock the, cook the cookers, the fuckers. Come on. Do it. Do it with awesome. Why why have I not put the swimsuit on Shion? In fact, next battle will be swimsuited Shion. In fact, there isn't going to be a next battle before the boss. It sad face. Uh, right, we'll get, we'll get all these guys out of the way. The next... Well, after this, I'm pretty much going to concentrate on giving them all more better... Um, power in their skills. No, tech attacks. You know, sometimes I really don't know what to say. Okay. Um, who's got the lowest HP? Ah, oh, that guy by about 50. He's really at 86 damage. 
you just see it and think, really, my character's going to be so underleveled, then you just see this kind of damage, you think, maybe not so much. Meh. That's not a lot of damage, to be honest. Ha! Now this won't cast slow on you, which is brilliant, because it won't cast it on you, just won't do it. But it, they'll start boosting and get all nasty about it, because they really don't like being proven wrong by a purple trap next to you. To which I say, who really cares? I mean, they're bioproducts. Does the Milton Ch Milton Charter protect these, I wonder? Or are we just committing mul multiple series of murder? But the best thing about this is no one will ever find out. Because, I mean, as soon as the Song of Nephilim ceases functions, we'll think it's going to be destroyed. What are they going to find? There's, there's deceased bodies of everyone in here. You know, oh my gosh, you killed some people or something. No. Look at this discussion. That's me imitating a chap. If I'm imitating, it's like, fucking no, dickhead. No, mate. No. You me and my mate, we are, me and my mate Josh, we went to, uh, to Barbados, right? And we, like, fucked everything in shite. That's apparently how chaps talk, especially their need for... Ooh, let's use our drill. Confirming their own sexuality. Is it, get, I think our drill was the same. No, it wasn't. That does look painful, I ain't gonna lie. That was right through the crotchicles. Ooh! Appearance is down 5%. She on, I need to be cleaned. You have a obsession with being cleaned, and it's unhealthy. Oh no, really? Other pack, really? I'm. Uh, 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 okay, well, we can't, obviously, let's have to come back out and come back in. I hate. The, I, I just don't like the way they re, a lot of the games do the whole resetting pattern thing. Anyway, destroy, destroy, and we'll go up and destroy the rest because I don't want to overshoot it. Lol, a better view. Be, I bet if you, sometimes sense should be made by me on you know walk across here. Oh goodness me, good lord! I'm going to battle him anyway. No, oh, it's just these two. They still take a long time to die. It's really infuriating, actually. It's now like, you know, before we were doing two attacks, knocked everyone out. Now we're not. But then again, I'm not abusing their weaknesses at all in this. I'm just going all out for them, which is probably my own. Let's see where the list of enemies are in here. There we go, list of enemies. Um, list of enemies. They've got Fire Ice and Lightning, so they're weak against all the elements. They're kind of there to give your team a bit of a use, and I really should be using Lightning on one of them, but... To be honest, Angel Blow is probably just as good as that LOL you said blow in the term of Angels. LOL, oh no's, hacksaws. Oh gosh, I've been getting to Minecraft so much recently. My friend set up a server, and we were making mi we were Minecrafting, and we managed to get to lava really easily. He's, he was just amazing things with the aesthetics of the game. So I was there, with, and I managed to find lava, so anyway... I basically created a little bridge, knocked up into the ceiling, and got just a whole pool of obsidian, obsidian, spent time mining the obsidian out, and it was like so much fun, it was like so much. Anyway, once I'd mined the obsidian out, I tried a way of, you know, um, getting rid of the lava underneath, but the problem is it's flowing lava then, so you can't, you don't get obsidian from it, you just get cobblestone, which really annoyed me. Okay, so this is the difficult bit, somewhat. You've got to listen to a song in here. Say Song of Nephilim system. It appears that the room next to us is a device something to do with sound. Yeah, each of those is how what the sound the tone of each one of them. So I'm just gonna be our be no, I'm just gonna quickly talk about my Minecraft Minecraftian funds in a sec. Okay. Right, we've got the uh, guides here. I read it wrong. Okay, right. That's the level we want to get to that too, so only three remain. Only two remain. And then do this one where only five remain, so that's that. Okay. And then I built this hum then because I drilled basically to get the water I had to mine into the ceiling and hope there was some water above me, which I did, and I was like, oh my goodness. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Um So then I built this massive waterfall that went all the way down to the base to the bedrock. And then you go through this water ride, which you're nearly you're bobbing under the, under un, under the water because of the low ceilings all the time. And it's pitch black. Then when you get to the bottom, you just see the few torches and uh, just a backlit um, 
portal to the netherworld. So awesome. Then, of course, I got stuck in the port uh, stuck in the netherworld because I gas turned the bloody portal off. So I had to have fun with that. But no, really enjoying it, actually. I, I go through phases with Minecraft. Anyway, with this now, you can run back to the Elsa and have more fun. I'm probably going to run back to the Elsa and save because I'm pretty much finished for today. Um, I'll do the song of the extra cutscenes at some other stage because as much as I do enjoy it, it's just... Uh, are we stuck? No, thank goodness we're not. I've got a bunch of stuff that I probably want to get doing before, the, uh, before then. So we'll operate the elevator. It's pretty cool, actually. It gives me psychedelic mind trips every time I see it. I just don't think I could stand, like, five, ten minutes of cutscenes before and after. I mean, it's literally... It'll be a long bunch of cutscenes afterwards because it's setting up for the final boss. Final area, I should say. So, mm. Anyway, to get from the fi to get to the final area here, there is an elevator at the end of that T-junction. Take it all the way down there. But first, I do highly recommend that you go back. Um... Just, just because, why not? Why not? Why the hell would you not go back and save? I mean, there isn't much point in going back to the Elsa per se. Oh, this is just stupid. This just wouldn't makes me wonder how they survived that. There's not as much point in going back to the Elsa as going back to any old save point, but you do have access to a shop in the EVS. And the EVS is always a positive. Always a positive. I don't care which I don't care what country you're from. EVS is always like the best thing you can ever have. It's just amazing. Like my horse. So yeah, my Minecraft fun knows knows no limits. Oh, and I love that as well. The whole shield to protect them from I don't know stuff. <laughs> stuff. You mean the lack of air? So yeah, um, so much fun on Minecraft. I mean, I'd love to go. I'd love to create like a, a serve myself. But every time I do, I get kicked in the face by just. Why am I not, why am I just not, you know, never mind. Just get kicked in the face by the fact my computer doesn't like me running a server. He's running a freaking laptop. Hello, I'm on a save point. There we go. I've got to make the noise before you allow me to use a biosphere. Holy hell. There we go, biosphere. So yeah, let me just go through what we got. Now we've got how many other points now. Actually, she's got enough to actually evolve. What, what, what weaknesses have we got next? Let me just take a bit of a foresight look. Brilliant. None. 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 So it doesn't really matter. Let's just learn uh, Fa. Because apparently Fa sounds cool. Oh my goodness, look, she's nearly got a thousand other points. Um, and let's tech attack. As I said, tech attacks would be a nice thing to do. X Buster still can't be leveled up. That's just how powerful X Buster is. And how, much, and how hungry it is for tech points. In fact, all of our tech points can't be bu bumped up. Can we bump our um, characters up by anything? No, even with 631, none of them can be bumped up, apart from, actually, oh, still not enough. Oh, we'll use that anyway. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Xenosaga. Actually, skill points first before we go. Um, when we head down and take on the final boss and see if we can rescue Momo. See you guys then, if I can get there enough, quick enough. Um, actually, I said boost one for boost pack for her, didn't I? I think you can you can mistakenly use the blue boost pack in in like action in a battle, which annoys me. Anyway, I know I should really be using Junior and leveling up everyone else more, but at the moment these provide so much fun for me. Anyway, see you in the next part, guys. Bye bye.